Yo, what is up guys? It's Bankrupt Dope, back with another video. How's everybody doing? Now, I just got done making a video, a small summoning video, and now I'm doing another video. So, just know that this video is going to go up before my summoning video, because I just want to say something real quick. Well, it might not be quick. But before we, like, for everyone is about to watch this video, I hope you're new. Because this applies to you. Hear me out. Hear me out, guys. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Now, now y'all can see we got this beautiful summon banner over here. This is the limited character sealer. And the question is, should you summon for a sealer? Question of the year. And you know what I have to say to that? Do what you want. Don't. Go to the next video to hear somebody tell you the stats and how she's about to get over the, oh, she's, and then there's going to be, a, nah, bump all that, bump all that. Does she look cool? Do you want to play with her? Then, then, then something. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. All right. It's, it's always interesting to watch, you know, YouTube videos and hear how some people go about, like, Determining whether or not somebody should summon for it and they get so sophisticated. In my opinion, then who's playing the game? You're playing the game. You do what you want. You make the team that you want. Now, yes, granted, there can be some things that you can do that are just bad. I'm not saying that you can't get advice. I'm not saying that there isn't a such thing as advice. Once I'm not saying that you can't get advice. Sorry about that. My roommate knocked on the door. I'm not saying that you can't get advice, but I'm saying you should have fun with the game. You do what you, what you want to do. So, it's like I just said, go ahead. If you really want to, go ahead and watch the YouTube video. If, now, if that's fun for you, if, if fun for you is knowing exactly what the best banner is to summon on, then I guess do that. Go for it. If you have to have the best character, the exact team as a YouTuber, or some big YouTuber, to play the game, I and mean, I guess go for it. That's fun for you, you do that. But I'm talking about for everybody out there that's trying to think like, hmm, should I really just follow what everybody's telling me or should I just do what I want? Do what you want. I am an advocate for doing what you want. If you want this character, something. I think it's crazy that we're day one. We're not day one, but you know, week one of the game, and we are, we're already trying to, I'm going to save for the first year in there. Like, come on, come on, y'all. Come on, come on. Yo, that, that's crazy. You just gonna not summon on nothing for a year. Like, I'm sorry. That's a lot of time to not play with new things. I, I'm, I guess I'm an instant glorification type of guy, I, even though I'm playing this game. And Mia Hoyo is the exact opposite of instant glorification. They, you take forever to get what you want. All the, the gates that they have on stuff is crazy. But, I don't know. If you want to summon or summon, if somebody told you that there's a new character that's going to come out that's going to be better in the next three months, so save. If you want to save, do that. You do what's fun for you. There's one Twitch streamer that I watch that plays Marvel Step, and you know, his advice for everything is you do what sparks joy for you. So if summoning like crazy on this banner is fun for you, do that. If saving for the next year, as crazy as that sounds to me, do that. If that's fun for you, do that. Do whatever you want. Do not seek validation from someone else. That's not what you need to do. You just do what you want to do. And you'll have so much more fun. Now, I'm just saying all that. I might as well show you all my team. I've already showed the team in the other video, but showing it again because this one's coming out first. This is the team I'm rocking. I'm rocking Seal, March 7th, Bailu, and Asta. I got Bailu off for free tickets. She's my healer. She's great. Asta's my speed booster and also my attack booster as well four by seal so generally i still will go first and you know give me a little damage boost and then seal will go second and hopefully kill somebody so she can attack again and again it's really fun to play with her in my opinion that's that's why i summoned for her like i think she's cool i like the fact that you can get moments where she's attacking so much before the enemy team can ever get a return and same with asta if asta breaks shield actually that might only be in a little mode but at some point, I'm pretty sure like, if you break shield, she gets another turn. But that might be in a different game mode. I might be mixing things together. But either way, I have fun. And then March the 7th, give shields to keep the team alive. So, you know, I'm essentially 
If I'm playing harder things, I bounce the heals and shields back and forth constantly, and I don't use my skills, my, my attack skills. But if it's content that I know I can beat, I know I'm not going to die, I just spam everything until I win because I can. You know, I know I'm not going to die. But this is what I'm rocking. I got a lot more characters that you don't have enough resources to level up. That's the one thing I hate about MiHoYoVerse and how they do things. You got the main character, which I don't use. I probably should. Serval, don't use. Dan Hung, I heard that he's great, don't use him. Natasha, never going to use her. I have the other healer. Pela, I just got her. She seems actually pretty cool because she can debuff. And I know that can make my Sela hit harder. So I got to think about that in the future. But don't have the resources for it anyway. I got Ging, Jing Kue. Jing Kue? I already say that. Level one, I haven't touched any characters down here. I've not, you know, done anything with it. I haven't seen anything with Like, I've just played with this character, like, in a little tutorial, and that was about it. But I got him. I know he sacrifices his health, which is kind of dumb, but, like, maybe it's crazy. Maybe it's just crack. I mean, the best thing in the entire game if you really max him out. But who knows? I won't. But, yeah. I just wanted to tell y'all that. Should you summon for Seal, Seela, whatever her name is, you do if you want to. Don't let anybody tell you not to. If someone's telling you not to summon for Seal, that's where it's like, all right. Nah, don't listen. Do what you want to do. I guess the one thing I can say, because it is true, don't summon here. Like, don't spin. If you're spending, don't spend your little gems on this. Because this is that's just a waste. Because you will get these that these little tickets for free as you just play the game. So there's no need to try to force yourself there because in the um, limited banner, you're going to you have a chance to get the characters in the standard banner anyway. And I know somebody's gonna see, but look at me at 300 you can get. You know how long it's gonna take you to spend 300 if you, if you spent money. Do you know how long it take you to hit 300? Oh my goodness, that's crazy. So I think that's like two thousand dollars. So, I don't know when anybody's about to drop $2,000, especially on a standard banner for one card. Like, we're not even going to go there. So, don't spend. There's no, literally no reason to spend your um, spend your currency on this banner. It's it's literally pointless. Just spend your currency here because the same characters are in here, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I might, I might be lying, but I'm pretty sure the same characters are in this banner. Maybe they're not all in here. Okay, they're not all in here. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight there. Versus. Let's just check. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they're all in there. So don't use your. Whatever your your, your, your currency. Unless they give you the tickets. Use the tickets. If, they, if you get flat out get tickets, obviously use those. But do not convert any currency into tickets for that baby. You only convert for these gold tickets on the premium banners. No need to go for that. So essentially, always go for the regular banner unit. Always go for the banner unit if you're trying to just get character in general. So if you like, oh, I want what's what's your name? If you want Japar, summon on this banner. Convert and summon on this banner anyway. So, you can't get away from the premium advantage if you want to teach you be told. Because there's no reason to go for here. And if you got extra like that, go for this. But I don't. So, I won't be going for this. I didn't do it in um, my hero. And I'm not going to do it in here. Because if I have it extra, I'll try. But if I, I'm not going to attempt to go for it as like a, its own thing. It's just I'm not doing that. But, with all that being said, thank you for watching if you watched. I appreciate y'all. Like always, drop a like on the video if you liked it. Comment something down below. Let me know if you're playing. Let me know if you're not. Let me know if you're playing something else altogether. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.